Good morning. Uh, I'm Francesca Ricci, and I will read. So maybe I will be more precise and more synthetic. Okay. Uh, today I would like to present our experience on uh, archival open data uh, that uh, it named Reload, repository for linked open archival data. Particularly, I'd like to present this project because uh, it's a project focused on cultural data. It's a project of the regional administration that improves municipal and provincial resources. It's a project shared with the national administration and it's a project developed by ontology and linked open data. The first, Reload is a project focused on cultural data, and especially at the beginning on archival data. IBC, uh, I work in for Emilia Romagna region, but in IBC that means Institute for Cultural Heritage. So IBC was founded in 1974 and it's uh, the scientific and technical instrument uh, of the Emilia-Romagna Emilia regional planning in the field of artistic, cultural, and, and uh, environmental heritage. IBC develops uh, the information technology for archives, libraries, and museums, promotes and coordinates the census and the description of archives, books, uh, and museums materials, and uh, grants uh, the readability of specific uh, DBMs on the web and uh, uh, work for standard and uh, interoperability. Through the 40 years of activity, IBC has produced a lot of description of cultural objects located in Emilia-Romagna region. In the coming months, a lot of data will be considered to be opened. However, in this phase, I will talk about linked open archival data that has been our first experience on Semantic Web. This is a regional project, but it improves municipal and provincial resources. Actually, IBC Archivi, that is one of our thematic portals for archival data, presents uh, the description of about uh, 400 archival institutions, 2,300 historical archives, and uh, 350 creators. And archival institutions, historical archives, and creators of archives are described not only by the region, but also by the local organization of the area. So we can say that IBC Archivi is an archival finding aid system that involves many authors. For many years, as I told you, BC has been experimenting with archival description standards and encoding system for describing archival institution and archives in general. So the description produced are realized in XML format according to international standard for data content and data structure. ISAG, ISRCPF, ISDIA, EAD, ESCCPF are standard very, very uh, common uh, known uh, in archival environment. <laughs> So we had XML description. We had many institutional authors, and we had specific standards for every kind of cultural object, for archives, for libraries, for museums, and so on. Also for ancient trees and for architecture and so on. This is why we try to imagine a network or a graph which expands and it could show all the cultural resources connected, both the IBC archive description 
and the descriptive data opened by other systems for libraries, museums, cultural institutions in general, but also for hotel, restaurant, bus and, and train station, and so on. And all of these data are recovered thanks to the semantic network. We try to achieve this result by using ontologies and linked open data because we would like to connect different data, very different data, without losing any specific information, any archival information or, or uh, library information. In uh, 2011, IBC and Regesta Exe uh, a software house, Regesta Exe, published an ontology for EACCPF, Encoded Archival Context, Corporate Bodies, Persons and Families, that is a standard, and uh, in another ent ontology to represent EACCPF records containing the description of archival creators. Why we uh, start uh, from uh, ACCPF. We started from uh, ACCPF because authority records, uh, by their nature, are connection points between uh, different resources. For example, the same person could be creator of an archive of uh, his papers, collector of a library, writer of a book, author of a monograph, on, or a uh, painter of a paintings and so on. The same person, the same description, the same point of connection. And so unlocking uh, authority record means connecting non, not only papers, but also libraries, publication, works of art, and other related person or entity. The first step in this direction was the opening of the standard by publishing an ontology for a CCPF in an open format, including parts of other standards in it. The first ontology is a different formalization of the XML schema of, of a CCPF standard, useful to promote and foster a better comprehension of structure and properties of the standard among Italian archivists. A CCPF is an international standard, a very important archival international standard, but is, it is a, a young standard. The second ontology was realized to open by semantic web the description of entities, corporate bodies, persons, and families associated with the creation and the maintenance of archives published in IBC Archivi. The authority records of archive, of archive creators in IBC Archivi are about 350 including, uh, I say, um, corporate bodies, persons, and families, and they are described in uh, a CCPF format, and uh, they were the first project testbed. The description have been converted from XML format to RDF format using style sheets. <laughs> His husband is, is, my, is my boyfriend. <laughs> uh, he's very handsome, but uh, I'm sorry, he's dead. <laughs> um, he's Andrea Costa. He's a politician, a socialist activist. He was born in Imola, a little town near Bologna, in 1851. And uh, um, he, he is uh, <coughs> sorry, our first uh, test bed. We, we pass from the paper producer, Andrea, and uh, his uh, traditional description uh, to a new way to present Andrea Costa by linked, linked open data. In general, the basic principle followed were no new concept. No new, no new concepts have been added that were not defined in the XML schema of the standard. No formatting properties 
have been used in the data model. For example, the element P, presenting almost all the descriptive element uh, XML uh, data, was omitted. As far as possible, we have tried to make use of the other popular and widely accepted and supported RDF vocabularies, like SCOS, FOAF, Dublin Core, BIO, VIAF, GeoName, and so on. In uh, 2012, Reload became a project shared with the national administration. The Archivio Centrale dello Stato, um, I mean uh, Central State Archives or something like that, uh, EBC and Regesta X, developed other two ontologies. First, OAD, an ontology for archival description. This ontology represents the classes and the properties needed to expose the archival resource as link open data. I mean archival guide, the description of singular paper, and so on. The second was its uh, OXA, an ontology for cultural organization services and access. This ontology is used in conjunction with the HCCPF ontology to describe an open description of the institutions that keep and preserve historical archives. So we had a graph, a network, to create a network or of related archival data. The next step consists of the transformation of all the resources of IBC Archivi and the Central State Archive in link open data. And the semantic alignment of archival resource data sets with other national and international data. So in the, uh, in the picture you see UOD, UOD, that is archival object, on the right, EACCPF, uh, uh, that is the creators of, ar of archives, and uh, that uh, the um, institution that maintains and keep uh, the archives. And uh, the other ball, <laughs> the other circle, circles, are uh, uh, the properties and the attributes of this object. Uh, in these days, we are beginning to work uh, to connect uh, link open data, link open archival data with open data related to other cultural objects like uh, libraries and museum. And it's just the beginning. If you want to know more about this experience, you can read something or maybe you can see, view this cartoon. We have uh, five minutes, no? No, so tomorrow, or <laughs> when, you, when you will uh, back home, uh, please uh, see this cartoon is very simple and uh, we, we make this cartoon to explain uh, reload project and archival project uh, to people who know nothing about archives. Muchas gracias, thank you. Thank you.